Dominic is one of my favorite actors in Nollywood and I just couldn't miss this movie for anything. And guess what? She really did put on a performance. Man, it was beautiful. <laughs> I loved her performance in this particular movie. Okay, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my diary. My name is Janelle, and this is where we get to talk about Nollywood movies and what not. Yeah, spoiler free. Most of the time. <laughs> oh, anyway, the movie on the review today is from the stables of the Silver Audrey Company. Yes, and um which is owned by Rita Dominic and Mildred Oku. And um, this is what she said about this particular movie. Hold on, hold on, I'll read, I'll read it out. She said, With this story, I have presented a classic noir tale with a distinctively African twist. Yes, that's what she said. Now, this movie also debuts um, the musician um, Nonso Basi, and it's his bi first big screen movie. Yes, he has been acting in some movies, but they were like minor roles. This one, he plays a major character. And also, he had to learn how to play the sax, the saxophone, in this particular movie so that he could like, you know, complete his character. Yeah, because his character was playing the saxophone. Well, this movie took about five years to make because, well, the producers or the filmmakers were trying to source for funds and then COVID happened and then one thing led to the other. So I really say they took the time to, you know, make this movie. Yeah, they, so that, of course, it will come out the way the producers, the filmmakers, Dominic and Oku, it will come out the way they wanted it to. But you might be wondering, what movie is Janelle ranting on about? Well, it's no other than La Femme Anjola. <laughs> That's the movie on the review today. <laughs> La Femme Anjola is a psychological thriller about an adventurous young stockbroker, Dejari, aka DJ, who is a saxophonist by night. He was a Lagos big boy. His life took a spin when his night job that's playing the saxophone took him into the warm embrace of a femme fatale, Anjola, who is the band's lead singer, who is also married to a seemingly wealthy bad guy. Ha. Their relationship became so deep, he began to question his lack of final commitment to his fiance. In fact, he fell in love with Anjola or was it lost at first sight? Hmm. On the other side of things, Anjola was planting little little mother seeds in his head, cajoling him to continue the ultimate crime that would seemingly set her free. The woman can spin men, Sha, she was just a siren. Little did he know the depth of treachery he had fallen into and the maga he'd become. Eventually, he lost a whole lot, got the shocks of his life. <laughs> scene where there was sporadic shooting outside the club and um i expected at least someone to die okay it's fine nobody died it's fine but nothing was destroyed in the shooting not even the cars the only thing that the bullets got to were watermelons watermelons only but why now why only watermelons because there were no dents no damage nothing i was like come on please come on and then just when i was about to praise them for successfully crashing a car which was good i liked that the car um i don't want to see but if you see the movie you know what the scene i'm talking about it was good it was successfully crashed but then when somebody <laughs> came out of the door i noticed that you know the the door looked like it was scrub i i just knew then that the car would blow of course, I can't just blow an expensive car like that. But then again, I didn't, you know, those little details, I didn't expect to see that. So those little details in movies really do matter. When I got home, I pondered upon this movie. The investigator was brilliant, I must say, in, you know, uncovering the crime. But there was something that the filmmakers missed. Now, the body was not burnt and there was blood on the weapon. And then how come they were not able to identify the body to know that who they were looking for was indeed in front of them i don't know how to say this that you know i would not give a spoiler but i don't think they really ironed out that issue well well the investigator should have found that if he found the mother weapon then he should have known who actually died then finally oh gosh how would i say this the end nollywood movies oh, we we always get it wrong towards the end sometimes you expect 
you do such a great job and you expect the movie to end and they just continue and continue and continue why you know that is what i saw in this movie the movie should have ended a while ago but it continued <laughs> i continued i continued no please it was a great movie but towards the end was not exactly necessary for me though so let's move to what i like about the movie the genre of the movie was sweet. It's something you don't get to see in Hollywood all the time, psychological thriller, and it's also a noir you know, kind of movie. It's it's not the regular you see in Hollywood. And up, I must commend the writer of this movie, Tunde Babalola. He did beautifully well. Just in case you don't know, is the same writer of Kunle Afulayan's um, October 1. The guy is brilliant. Take, just take. <laughs> he did well. The movie was well scripted. The storyline will accept towards the end, but... I really did enjoy the movie <laughs> and then i also love the way rita dominic you know manned her character the way she flowed seamlessly in her character it was beautiful to watch you know she being a seductress everyone falling for her it was more like a siren it was beautiful to behold and then non so basi he also did beautifully well it's his first big screen well he has been acting before but it's his major role and he did beautifully well too even the other cast too they did beautifully well and then the costume ah the costume was on point especially with Adomnik's costume. It was beautiful. You know, these days, Nollywood, are be they're beginning to imbibe our culture in dressing, like using um, our fabric, our native fabric, in making clothes. And I must commend that. It's, it's beautiful to behold our fabrics on screen. I love it. I personally, I love those fabrics. The costume was really, really on point. One movie you cannot predict. Mm -hmm. The twist. Oh my gosh. You cannot predict it. Yes. So, I give La Femme Angela a 3.5 star rating. <laughs> Please don't forget to subscribe, like, follow, comment, comment my page to stay abreast on Hollywood movies and whatnot. Have a beautiful day or evening, whatever the time may be. Bye-bye. <laughs>